as you can see, the river's flowing quite low right now. We're located about halfway between the Trans-Canada Bridge and the Finley Bridge. Now this point of the river is about the widest part that runs through the city of Medicine Hat. It pinches a bit near City Hall. So at 70 cubic meters per second, which is the current stream flow rate of the South Saskatchewan, it's a far cry from what we saw in 2013 with the record flooding. The river's so low right now that you can actually walk across this part of the river. Now upstream communities are also seeing the effects of low, low river levels. Uh, the Bow River upstream from Calgary, many of the fisheries have been closed. Elbow River, Bow River. There's also been some closures on the Waterton River. Right now, most experts say that it shouldn't be a problem managing this low flow stream. However, the problem comes next year, if there is in fact a problem. What <laughs> irrigators and water users and municipalities will be looking for this winter will be a large snowpack in the mountains that will be able to re-energize the reservoirs and the, and the tributaries for the, the rivers. Right now, every irrigator seems to be managing with the low flow. Municipalities are also managing with, with this level of the river. But next year could be a very different story if the snowpack isn't large and the rains aren't coming, don't come in the spring. I'm Alex McQuaig reporting from the South Saskatchewan River for the Medicine Hat News.